Hey girl. Hello Virgo, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. My name is Simply Falcon. and I'm going to be doing your general reading for the week. Keep in mind with any type of general reading though, there's, I always ask you to rely on your intuition because, you know, I could be talking about a situation with love or relationship, but then your situation specific actually calls for something involving a, um, a, some like a type of business relationship or something in that manner, right? So I always want to keep have you keep that in mind. So that is the one thing I do ask of you to do while you have watch my reading is to rely on your intuition to figure out how these cards play out in your specific life, right? Um, it's very important for you to personalize these cards for your specific situation because it's impossible for me to cover all the messages that this reading could hold for all everybody that watches and receives this reading, right? So I'm going to be shuffling a few more cards and then I'm going to be pulling as I feel needed. I feel as it's neat. I feel that it's needed. Uh, but yeah, let's just jump into this. Let's go into your first row right now. We have the star card for you, Virgo, as well as the, what is this? The six of swords. All right. And then we have the ace of cups. So right off the bat, I feel like you guys, Virgo, are searching for something you're searching for something in the sense of, or reaching for something in terms of like, maybe like self-employment of some type. I'm getting like a lot of like big self-employment energy in this. Um, I say this because when you have the star card, you're reaching out for something. What is it that you're reaching for? I'm not quite sure. Um, I feel like it's some type of deal because of the six of swords. You look in the imagery of this card and there's some type of deal. It looks sketch, but that's just because of the nature of this deck. But in this, I feel like it's more so signifying for you, Virgo, that you want some type of deal and you want some type of deal in terms of fulfillment. So maybe some of you guys, Virgos, some of you Virgos, you're looking for a commitment of some sort. You're looking for a commitment or you're looking for a, uh, just like a maybe like a contract or maybe like a business deal or maybe like you're trying to like get approved or like a credit card or like a house or something um very interesting i pulled the clarifiers for this row right here and it's very it's weird in the sense that like i pulled the ace of cups for you again virgo so you have two different ace of cups so you're really looking for fulfillment right now but i also this is a good good thing as well because when you have these cards coming forward this is showing to me that it's going to come out it's going to be fruitful it's going to, your path is going to be set up in a way where you start seeing it this week i feel for you the moon card yeah i feel like things are going to start being revealed to you where things will start being fulfilling things will start making sense to you in the world card right very powerful bold cards for your first row virgo so i feel like this is very much so just matching your energy trying to match your drive for wanting something you i just feel like such a so badly that like you guys are wanting something um, that's for sure. Um, and so let's continue on with this. We have for your second row as well. We have the world card again. So a lot of repeating cards for you. I love, that's why I love using tarot because of this, right? Um, but then you have the four of earth, which is usually like a business card. And just in terms of also just transactions in general. So in terms of connections, maybe you're feeling as if, um, some type of connection right now for you, Taurus isn't, uh, not Taurus. I'm apologize for you, Virgo. Uh, maybe right now, Virgo, there's some type of connection that's not being as fulfilling as it is for you. Right. The 10 of swords here, like, yeah, maybe you're, there's some resentment going on with something. Or maybe not, maybe resentment's a strong word for it, right, Virgo? Maybe that's even when I said the word, you're like cringing. You're like, I don't know if it's resentment in a sense, but you have a six of pentacles in reverse as well. I feel like there's just like a, something's just not working out in your favor and there's just like frustration. There's like frustration. Maybe there's just like, oh, why is this person not committing to me? Why is like, whatever, X, Y, and Z. Like there's some type of why and just trying to figure out why something just isn't panning out and panning out in the way that you would like it to pan out in and maybe like it's I don't get like an entitlement energy but I also just feel like you kind of just feel like you're deserving of more which is definitely good don't feel bad or like feel self-conscious about feeling as if you deserve more you definitely deserve more Virgo um you're just searching for long-term right now. You're searching for long-term fulfillment in some type of way. And what I'm wanting, to, what I feel driven to say, um, Queen of Coins as well, see your worth. This is like kind of like similar in the reading for, uh, for Taurus actually. 
uh, it's similar in the sense that like you weren't seeing Taurus was, was doesn't see their worth as well but for you it's like a i almost feel as if like you see your worth and that's why you're asking for more virgo virgo you're like this isn't enough this situation isn't enough for me so if it's in your work life you're just sitting there going to work every single day and be like this is not worth the minimum wage paycheck that i'm getting or even if you are maybe you're not even making minimum wage maybe you're making like seven figures and you're just like this is not what i want to do for the rest of my life this isn't fulfilling right maybe your cup is flowing over but it's just like it's only flowing over in a way that like isn't fulfilling you isn't actually um driving you in any kind of way nine of coins yeah this is such a push from spirit as well kind of being like yeah you know you're like this we they anticipated this they this is kind of giving me the sign of where it's just like spirit your spirit guides are trying to really get you to do something and you are so insistent on being like no 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 i know what i what is best for my life even though your spirit guides have a much broader perspective and can see everything and really just want the best for you you're still trying to tell your spirit guides of like what you think is best and so your spirit guides are just like okay you know what's best for you let's see how that works out right and so now i feel like this is kind of like a coming back to your senses sort of thing or really kind of just going back to your parent with your tail between your legs and just like oh you're right can you try it your way now we have the um four of uh wands here, which is a beautiful card so i feel like this is like a definitely another like sign that maybe you guys have been trying to make it work with a specific individual or maybe you've been trying to work make it work with some type of workplace or some type of environment and it just isn't fulfilling to you i feel like this is this card's coming forward to you to let you know it's just like okay if you want to go back to like having that fulfillment if you want to have like those genuine connections that really like help shape your world it's, let's go back to the drawing like not let's go back to the drawing board but let's think this through um set your intentions king of air also with balance as well right this other card the six of coins like i didn't ever get to show you it upright i don't think virgo but this is talking about imbalance maybe there's like a libra in your life in some type of sense maybe this is involving a libra type of balance but also just in the sense of like balancing your um don't make like a rash decision so if it's just like in the sense of like with this person because like you're seeking fulfillment this is kind of like very much so like midlife crisis energy if i were to be honest where you're just like you just wake up one day and you're just like what am i doing with my life and then you just go out and buy a porsche that you can't afford that's what this energy is kind of giving to me and the king of air is asking you to kind of just take more of a responsible role in the whole thing in the whole sense of the word um be more responsible don't be this is not the way to be bold just because you're coming to a realization of things that are not fulfilling you anymore that doesn't mean you need to take action immediately um yeah that's what i get for you i think like you have your potential right because this is your last row this is really good this is like where i'm really going to try to hook you in here virgo because you have your magician card and then you have the three of cups and then you have the Eight of Cups. So this story right here, before I even pull any clarifiers, I'm gonna write out this story for you. You have the Magician card, which is just a really self-explanatory card in the sense that like you're the master of all suits. So it's just like, you really can create or manifest whatever it is that you want. You can accomplish what it is that you want. You're really talented, Virgo. Once you put your mind to something, you're going to be able to accomplish it. And once you do finally, like, you don't want to make your rash decision. You don't want to make your rash decision. You want to make sure you're coming out from a balanced place naturally. So it's just like, yeah, you might be having like your midlife crisis and you want like, you're just trying to feel young again. Well, like, what does, what does that look like? This is where you start asking the questions of what truly fulfills you. Uh, Virgo, think about that. That's the important question that I want you to really be asking yourself. It's like, what truly fulfills me? Um, and then that's when you're going to i feel like it's going to involve other people um so yeah i feel like just such a it's uh <laughs> i feel like a lot of virgos are watching this reading there's some type of commitment that they're wanting with somebody or some type of connection that they're wanting with somebody and they just haven't or like maybe they ha are connecting with them but that hasn't it's not as serious as they would like it um but also in the sense of i feel like your next correct move is going to involve other people because that has like been the underlying tone in your entire reading Taurus is that there's your your way of finding fulfillment is linked to somebody else as well maybe it's like a mentor thing mentoring thing maybe you're mentoring somebody else you're giving back right because we have the four of earth is talking about giving to those less fortunate remember 
So maybe this is just a charitable time for you to take someone under your wing and that'll help inspire you, help fulfill you. And it's through that that you'll have like a good connection. But if this is in terms of like a, a new uh, like a relationship of some type, I feel like this is almost like a look around, look at, other, look at the other fish in the sea if you're dealing with a bunch of bumps in the road. I'm not saying like if you're in a committed relationship right now just to like go out and cheat and obviously like that. But if things are not working out in your current relationship, maybe look, pay attention why this week if things are starting to like if you're seeing some red flags this week pay attention as to why those red flags are appearing um and yeah just figure out what you deserve and go for it sort of thing right that's what the king of air also is talks about is like speaking your mind with confidence and setting your boundaries and all that good stuff right prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus moon card the south node don't let your past hold you back and expect powerful change new moon and eclipse so this is very very beautiful it's almost as if it's like a yeah for, especially for people who are like considering like a different workplace or like considering a different career opportunity prosperity lying ahead spirits letting you know like this is going to be prosperous right the uh, par expect a powerful change and don't let the past hold you back so don't let your old what your old reality hold you back from your future you're going to need to make a powerful change before so you can get to your prosperity even if you're not prosperous right now like they're telling you it's just like don't let your constraints hold you back from going forward with like whatever it is that's going to be fulfilling towards you if it's uncomfortable that's what's that's good that's they're doing their job that's what i'm getting for you uh let's look at um a few like let me pull a couple more cards we have the manifestation. Yeah, this is such a beautiful time for you guys. Such a high vibrational time for you guys. Prosperity definitely lying ahead. This is the time for you to manifest the life that you desire, Virgo. It sounds very dramatic and I know it's such a cliche thing that your entire reading is just like uh, your sphere guys being like, identify what it is that you want, double what you think you deserve, and then go for it. Uh, the grass express yourself through rhythm yeah this is such a i feel like self in terms of like expressing yourself some type of creative outlet for some people um just really living in your in living in your own authentic light that's like your overall reading virgo um i really hope this reading was helpful to you virgo hopeful i was girl we went so long with this reading doing so good let's not end this now <laughs> Thank you so much, Virgo, for allowing me to do this reading for you. I hope this was helpful. Let me know which cards resonate with you in what way in your life, because that's my feedback, right? I like to hear about what's going on in y'all's lives as well. Um, if this reading was helpful to you, then um, please give me a like and subscribe as well, because that does help me channel out so much. I really hope I can connect with you guys um, at a later point again soon, Virgo. I love you so much. Bye.